what do you need to do to get ready? I was born ready is such a phrase that I keep hearing all the time. This week's podcast episode is all about what do you need to do to get ready? So my name's Marisha Trembetska. Morning! <laughs> uh, for my Love Your Creativity and Make Money podcast. And the last two words are very important. I'd like to point out, otherwise it's just a hobby or a depression. We need to be making money with our art, whatever that might be. But I was inspired this week to look at Born Ready and Get Ready. One, because certainly in the UK we've been told that we're all coming out of lockdown properly by June 21st. The clubs are open and we can go a little mental. And I know a lot of people are going, oh, I didn't get all the things I meant to do, you know, a year plus in lockdown. And there's this whole weird guilt thing going on. Well, rule number one, guilt gets you nowhere. If you've done something wrong, apologise and do the right thing. Guilt is a sack you drag with you. It's, it's just not helpful in any way to your soul. And let's not get into the Catholic Church. It's a bit early on a, on a Thursday morning for politics. Well, <laughs> but the second thing that made me really think about being born ready versus getting ready is uh, the actor Regé Jean-Paul hosted Saturday Night Live last weekend and quite frankly killed it. For those few of you who are living in a, in a hedgehog house somewhere, he is the actor that played the Duke of Hastings in the Bridgerton series. And absolutely killed it. I mean, beautiful cast and Shondaland, as in Shonda Rhimes' production. So it's just an amazing thing. But he really took it and took it to the next level, playing this overly romantic, dark, hot lead. But what he did on Saturday Night Live, because the world's gone so mad about him, he showed the world how ready he was to do other work. He Sure, he showed comedy chops. He made fun of the fact that everyone loves him so much. He then said, oh, I'm just a, a silly nerd. I'm not really that hot. I, play, I sing silly love songs. And then literally had a mic miraculously in his hand and broke into unchained melody. You know that. Uh, oh, my darling, I hunger for your touch. And just, I, there was three other Saturday Night Live, uh, the female cast on stage with him, just hyperventilating. <laughs> hyperventilating. Quite. Wow, well, come on, yeah. Uh, he also, in the other sketches, did three different American accents, made a point he was from London, also danced, everyone knows he can dance, but also did another song. And then, to top off all of it, made a point of saying in the monologue, I, I don't know why you guys are so worried about this character because I've been in Roots, I've played a high-powered lawyer, and all you want to do is say, I burn for you, which is the big phrase in, in all of the Julia Quinn books that Bridgerton's based on. He so took his opportunity of being the man of the moment. Despite the fact that he's 31 now and has, you know, done a lot, he's been a musician, he's been in a punk rock band, obviously worked on things, has been in other Shonda Rhimes things that only lasted one season, which is rare. So he's took this moment to show the world where else he can be really good, that he can really sing. No one knew that, until, and now he's just told the world. So ready to get ready, and... It just inspired me because, A, I did a Singing Psychic podcast on, on him this week just because I thought, why not? So you can go and listen to it. Uh, the song of the week is Born Ready by the Disco Fries, if you want to know. Um, <laughs> but it's about what do we need to do to get ready? Because none of us are actually born ready. We might be born, all of us, with a certain talent in certain aspects. We all have certain gifts and ability to be quite charming, ability to draw, ability to sing. But then we have to do the work. And I'm... Oh, I hate the fact we have to do the work, but I, because sometimes ongoing practice can be very difficult for me anyway. I, I, I want to do X, Y, Z, so many things. But the truth is, are you ready for your opportunity? When you're Saturday Night Live version calls, when you get to pitch to an amazing production company or a publisher, when you get to a... If there is a film festival or an award you want to win or a photography thing, have you got your work ready? Are you ready? I'm certainly not that ready. I mean, I've done American accents in both, well, both on stage in plays and also in my own work and also in other people's films. Have I done practice an American accent in the last few months? Absolutely not. And while I do sing every day, my guitar playing, if I had to suddenly do my Queen show with the songs in that, I'd be struggling a bit because my, so, and I know that. So there are areas where I'm definitely, if my opportunity comes, then I'm, 
I'm not ready. You see what I'm saying? If I get a phone call saying, can you do a, can you do a, could you do a self-tape with this part? I'm really quick at learning lines. I've been doing quite a lot of acting recently. I've just done some role play acting as well, which has been really good just to get your chops back in and living in another character's skin. Uh, So that was good. But as we know, accents need to be really fluid and in your, in your blood, actually. And you don't want to be thinking about your accent when you're actually trying to be open and free as the actor. So I am aware there's areas where I'm definitely not ready. But equally, I knew that I was, I have been saying all, I have been saying since January that I really feel like by June we'll be out and about. Obviously, the singing psychic is alive and well um, <laughs> in her correct predictions, because the singing psychic, if you don't know her, she's always right. It's part of the comedy setup off her that she's always right, no matter how outlandish she tells you things from the song she uh, hears in your heart. Um, but because I've had for the last two months gone, actually, I think by June we're going to be out. I decided to get super fit from about the first week in June, get back to normal levels of fitness and health, because the way I look on stage and on screen matters but also it's how I feel and I want to be able to strip off in June on a beach somewhere or um, go swimming in the Hampstead Ladies open air ponds and just feel and look fierce and the only way that happens as we know is is training exercise my gym shot but I can do stuff at home and I have even this morning I did a quick 20 minutes before I recorded this before what is gonna be a very long day so there we are what do you need to do to get ready what is the one thing that you really go, oh, I, I want this, if I got this opportunity. Because we all have it. Are there projects you need to finish? Are there new talents you need to learn, new skills you need to hone? Are you born ready? If you had to be tested on something that could change your life artistically, creatively, or I guess even not, if you, you're, maybe you need to learn extra levels of coding for something if you're doing another job that way. I do, but much as we like the idea of being born ready, We've got to get ready. So where do you need to get ready? So there we are. So have an amazing day. Um, I am Marisha Trembetska, as we all know. You can find me on at Marisha T on Instagram and Twitter and Marisha Trembetska on Facebook. If you'd like to book me as a actor, then my agency is Dossie Houston CCA Management. And of course, if you want to hire me as a singing psychic or do my queen show and do and all that kind of stuff, then uh, contact me directly as I book those. I do have booking agents, but various ones. So there we are. Have a great week uh, and a great weekend and get ready. Okay. Ring in my head that tune from the Disco Fries that is the song of the week. Go and have a listen on the Singing Psychic podcast. And it basically goes, waiting on your love for bomb ready, waiting for your love to come get me. Don't wait for your love to come get you. Go after what you want. Go after your art. Okay. <laughs> Me and my soapbox. Okay, lovely. Speak soon. Bye. You know I-